Welcome to Thoroughbred Action at Gulfstream Park. Brian Natto with you on an 11 race stakes Saturday. We've got the R Deer Peggy for the two year old Phillies, stretching them out to two turns on the Tapita. $400,000 in the gross jackpot, Rainbow Six as well. So let's turn it over to track announcer Pete Aiello for the course and the weather conditions. We had some overnight and early morning rain, so the main track has been sealed. It's rated sloppy, no turf racing scheduled, and the Tapita track is always fast. First race, first half of the early daily double, the start of the 50 cent early pick five. In the first race, scratch number four, Bella Mayura. Racing at Goldstream. Good start in the center for Interesting Gem, who's headed off for the early lead. On the outside of her, and Jay's star jet down at the inside, reaching stride, has speed. Taken in hand and races third. Wide on the course in Lord Joan, then her greatness down at the rail, Stellarator. Hurry up, deals on here is between runners. Second last early stare, if you must, the early trailer, the Cuban Missile. And the run around the first turn, the advantage to Interesting Gem. Three parts of length, Jay star jet is second. On the inside, reaching stride is a chilly third, racing together with Lord Joan on the outside. And her greatness, Edgar Perez has Stellarator parked at the rail in the yellow cap, about five lengths off the lead, followed outside of her by Hurry Up Deer. Flat out cool is next, then stare if you must, and the trailer, the Cuban Missile. 24 and 4 for the opening quarter. They're less than five furlongs from the finish. The leader is now Jay's star jet, who makes a mid-race move to take over. Right back at her from the rail. That's interesting, Jem. Outside and her greatness getting started. Her greatness forces Lord Joan to move. Meanwhile, that was reaching stride who got shuffled to touch. Stellar Raider trying to hunt the two path to secure racing room. Perez got that done ahead of Hurry Up Deer. Then back to flat out cool and stare if you must. Still at the back is the Cuban Missile. And up front is Jay's Star Jet. Jay's Star Jet to the top of the stretch. Widens on the lead at a big price. 50 to 1 on this leader. In front by four and a half lengths. Stellar Raider is second. Reaching stride having to cover ground hurry up deer is next flat out cool underway from the back and they're at the top of the stretch three quarters 113 and four they turn for home it's still j star jet the target down the center reaching stride from between horses stellar raider up the rail hurry up deer final eighth of a mile j star jet is still in front stellar raider takes a shot reaching stride on the outside here's reaching stride and stellar raider getting to j star jet photo finish I'll tell you what, J-Star Jet is very much involved in this win photo. The Bob might have even gone her way. It's a photo between her and Stellarator with reaching stride third in 145 and four. They're up. Bounced around and last to break was Starship Nugget. First to break was takes two to Wiggle, who fires forward for a length and a half advantage over Bumbalicious in second. Hutzpah comes away much closer than usual. She's in early third. Up between horses, Kenya Sun rushing up in traffic with Ellery's Decent on her outside. A gap of four to Thrilling Baby. And if you're on the favorite, Starship Nugget, you're last of all with an inside lane. They make their way four and a half furlongs from the finish after an opening quarter of 22 and three. Takes two to wiggle, clear by three. From between horses, that's uh, Kenya Sun, a joint second alongside Hutzpa, who improves out the rail third. Bumbalicious is next, then Ellery's Easton. Figueroa trying to get Starship Nugget to motivate her ball game here. She's still toward the back of the group, and the trailer is thrilling, baby. The leader is takes two to wiggle. At the 5 16 13 to one shot, takes two to wiggle. Has the lead by two and a half. Hutzpa is in chase mode second from the inside. It's uh, now moving up Ellery's Easton. Alongside her is Starship Nugget. She starts to warm to the task. About five lengths off the lead through a 45 and four opening half mile. Off the turn and the stretch drive. Here's Hutzba taking on takes two to wiggle at the rail. Ellery's Easton closing ground. Starship Nugget fourth. Final 16th of a mile. On the outside Hutzba from between takes two to wiggle at the rail. Ellery's Easton 16th to go. Takes two to wiggle. Digging in and hanging on. Takes two to wiggle. Completes an upset daily double at Goldstream in 124 and three.
And they're off. Bobble beginning. Soon after the start, it was the inside horse, Inez's Hats, who goes out looking for the lead with Cross Fleet right alongside for a Cross Fleet's going to kick on. Away into the top flight is Down Burst with Gaiurza from between horses. Tamarindo is next. Gurley the Butcher is ahead of two early. They are Little Fairy and Pretty Keen as they chase the speed of Cross Fleet around the first turn. It's Cross Fleet in front by a length and a half. From the outside, Gaiurza's is there second at the rail. Inez's Hats is there third from the outside. Down Burst fourth. Covered up while fifth is Tamarindo racing ahead of Gurley the Butcher, then Pretty Keen, and Little Fairy is last. 24 and 1 for the opening quarter. There's five furlongs to race. It's Cross Fleet harnessing her speed so far with the length advantage. Gaiers is second. Inez's hat stays parked at the rail in third from the outside down burst. Edgar Zayas hunting racing room for Tamarindo. Down at the inside, that's Little Fairy together with Gurley the Butcher. And getting started in the clear is pretty keen as they have a half a mile to go. 49 and 2 for the opening half mile. Cross Fleet has been in front from the outset, maintains a length advantage from the outside. Pretty keen getting started. She's four wide, three wide down burst, two path Gaiurza. Tamarindo's following traffic, but she's getting ready to get into the clear. Inez's hat's got held in traffic with Gurley the Butcher and Little Fairy as they round the far turn. Three quarters and 14 flat. Pretty Keen made the lead to her outside. Tamarindo's on the challenge from the rail cross fleet from between down burst in tight. They're at the top of the stretch from the outside. Here's Tamarindo under very confident handling, trying to go get Pretty Keen. Eighth of a mile to go. Now Zayas gets serious, and Tamarindo strides forward. Pretty Keen is back to second. From the inside, downburst is third. Tamarindo in front. Tamarindo very confidently handled in three parts of a length better than Pretty Keen. Downburst is third. Then Gurley to Butcher, 145 flat. And they're off. Bit slow to start. Both take care of business and pike place. Quick to break. Christensen, Marley Luck moving to him on the outside. Up on the far outside, it's Midnight Getaway. Widest of all, Cinco De Nero, the favorite. Belly Up was in no particular hurry. Races into fourth now. That's a gap of three to Diamond Explorer ahead of Take Care of Business. And Pike Place is last. Around the far turn at the three for long point. Christensen has the lead by half a length. Marley Luck on the outside now second. Edwin Gonzalez moves belly up into tracking position third. Two and a half lengths off the leader. Running home from the back is take care of business while a bit green. Sliding through at the inside diamond explorer with a quarter of a mile left to go. Christensen comes away with the lead. Marley Luck is second. Belly up tries to float into the clear. Take care of business on the outside with an eighth of a mile to go. Christensen finding on the lead. This take care of business is a huge price. He's been green as grass, but he's still closing. Take care of business. Surging forward. Christensen almost home. Take care of business. Indeed. He's 60 to 1. There. From the center, streaking gray and high vibes, both quick to begin. Gray Charlotte with some tactical speed from down toward the inside. Dry humor gets started while trying to work over. In between horses is short circuit, third last, second last money factor. The early trailer is hardly social. It's a very reasonable early pace, and jockey Amisa El Jaramillo trying to harness the speed of streaking gray. She's in front and tugging. High vibes, the nearest pursuer, second long shot. Gray Charlotte is at the inside. High humor on her outside. In the red cap, that short circuit who works between horses, three wide money factor, sliding through at the rail is hardly social. The quarter time was 24 and two. Five furlongs to race. Streaking Gray still the target. High vibes latched on to her second. Gray Charlotte is at the rail. Three wide and dry humor. Out the back early are both short circuit and money factor and at the rail it's hardly social. 
So that's the seven of them as they go four and a half furlongs from the finish. It's still streaking gray, the target, 48 and three for a half mile. Streaking gray stretching on a bit to lead a length and a quarter. High vibes between horses. Gray Charlotte is at the rail. Dry humor is three wide. Vasquez starts to ask short circuit to pick it up together with money factor and hardly social is last. Around the far turn they go. Streaking gray has the lead, but it's only a neck advantage. High vibes draws alongside second, three wide. Dry humor now third. Vasquez launches four wide on short circuit that'll send money factor five wide they fan across the course and turn for home at the rail it's still streaking gray the leader high vibes continues to charge at her from second down the center in short circuit eighth of a mile to go short circuit starts to pick up her feet trying to get the top two here comes short circuit with streaking gray still in front high vibes between short circuit on the outside streaking gray hold on to win it Streaking Gray turned away short circuit and beat her ahead. High Vibes is third in 144 and three. Rainbow's sixth time in South Florida. And they're off. Adios, Papa Chico wins the break and fires forward, but immediately taken on by No Name Dude, who now rushes on to take over the lead. Mauna Kea bound is racing into a top flight up on the outside. That's Kikete, who was away in traffic, looking for some place to go. Majestic Pharaoh, big save, is toward the back of the group while fighting the kickback. Then Tumiga and Ghost Bike is last of all as they make their way to the final half mile. No Name Dude has the lead a length and a quarter. Adios Papa Chico is there second, two and a half back to get to Kikere. He races into third now. At the rail in fourth, Intrusive God. Then it's a gap of three to Majestic Pharaoh and Mauna Kea bound. Big save. Tries to rally while about seven lengths off the speed. He's improving with an inside lane. Then Smart Striker and Tumiga as they run to the top of the stretch. Up front, the leader is No Name Dude, taken on now by the outside horse. Adios, Papa Chico, he's running home now. Back to third and inside, that's big save, three sixteenths to go. No Name Dude has the lead. Adios, Papa Chico, takes aim on the outside second. These two have it to themselves. No Name Dude still has the lead. On the outside, Adios, Papa Chico starts to gain when he needs to. This is going to get close. In the front end, it's No Name Dude who held on to win it. No name dude by half a length in the end. Adios Papa Chico second, big save third in 111 and two. They're off running. Geoscience was quick off the blocks. Down at the rail, fishing for fun is Centard. It's a lively early pace. Up to the outside, Grant Andrews with Cool Star looking for forward position. He's alongside Sandy Dude with Epic Run. Out the back is Congrats again. Out of the chute, onto the main track, fishing for fun with a pace partner and Geoscience on the outside. 
Grant Andrews is an in-hand third. Cool Star on the outside, fourth. Sandy Dude is up to fifth, held up in traffic a bit as Epic Run. Improving while under a stronghold is congrats again as the pace is slowed noticeably mid-race. They go to the half-mile point, fishing for fun, and Jaime Torres bidding for a double. He's on top of length and a quarter from Geoscience in second. Edgar Zayas in the clear and three wide on Cool Star from third. Grant Andrews kept close to the action while racing in fourth. Epic Run is next ahead of Sandy Dude. Out the back is congrats again. Around the far turn they go, 48 seconds for the opening half mile. Fishing for fun, taken on now by the favorite Cool Star, who's up on even terms, three wide. Sandy Dude is on the go, and he's in a big chance from there. He's now only a neck off the leader. Epic Run is next. Grant Andrews patiently handled toward the inside. Reyes working on finding some place to go. Plenty of chances still as the favorite has to go to work. Cool Star is in front after three quarters and one twelve and three. On the outside, Sandy Dude continues to charge at him. Grant Andrews tries to find a racetrack between horses. Down the center, an epic run. Who do you like here? Epic run charging at Sandy Dew with Cool Star and Grant Andrews. Grant Andrews surging at the inside. Grant Andrews won it. Patient trip from Lionel Reyes proves nice as Grant Andrews gets up late, close for second. Either Cool Star or Sandy Dew in 138 and one. Soon after the start, Russian Alphabet wanted the early advantage from the outside. That's inspired mischief. Racket's not far away. Surrogate doesn't want the lead, but he wants to decide who to follow. He's racing into the top flight. Our Admiral is at the rail, and the early trailer is ruthless intent. And the run around the first turn, the leader is Russian Alphabet on top of length and a half. Racket is moving up on the outside of Surrogate, so now Surrogate's going to take a strong hold in between horses. Our Admiral is fourth at the rail, followed fifth by inspired mischief, and ruthless intent is last. 24 seconds for the opening quarter. Russian Alphabet taken on now by Racket, who moves up on the outside. Romero Mirage got Surrogate to settle down. He's third behind the speed, so he's getting a nice run of it. Our Admiral is fourth. Alongside him is Inspired Mischief, and the trailer is a ruthless intent. That's the six of them with half a mile to race. The opening half mile was 47 and three. They put on some speed in that second quarter, and Racket is now up to take the lead. Russian Alphabet trying to cling to him second. Surrogate travels well enough at this stage, races in the third with our Admiral fourth. Fifth inspired mischief and starting to stoke the boilers is Ruthless Intent. Last of the six, but he's picking it up a bit now with five sixteenths remaining. It's Racket the target. He made a big move down the backside, and he'll have to kick on from there. They're nipping at his heels. Surrogate gets first run. Our Admiral latched onto him. Ruthless Intent trying to loop the group with a quarter of a mile remaining three quarters 112 and three it's surrogate who made first run to take the lead our admiral and ruthless intent out after him eighth of a mile to go our admiral charging at surrogate down the center and ruthless intent now it's our admiral who hits the front close to home ruthless intent gets to him late ruthless intent wins our admiral second surrogate third racket is fourth then inspired mischief 141 and three the our dear Peggy Stakes. Race favorite blind spot was quick off the blocks, but is in no particular hurry. Vivia moving up on her outside. Speeding through at the rail, here's Dropkick Queen on the go. Jellybean is there. Stephanie's Charm uh, fanning very wide around that first turn as they line up for the early lead. Some headstrong runners here, so the pace has to be pretty slow as Jellybean has worked to a narrow lead. Vivia is on her outside. Dropkick Queen toward the rail. Stephanie's Charm plotted a wide course around that first turn, but she's now racing into fourth. Blind spot after a good start is back off to race fifth. Outside sixth in Motown Madison. Extra Indy is seventh. Eighth at the inside to Black Ice. Ninth is Mersal. And tenth and last is Rock This Town. 
24 and 4 for the opening quarter speed. Sonny Leon and Vivia now clear a length and a quarter. Jelly Bean is second, kept company by Stephanie's Charm, who's on the outside. Blind spot, electing to race out in the center ahead of Dropkick Queen, who's dropping back. Passed outside by Motown Madison, then Mersal and Extra Indy. Still out the back are Black Ice and Rock This Town. 49 and 3 for a reasonable half mile. And here's Blind Spot on the go, in the clear, and on the attack as Stephanie's Charm just put a neck in front. Vivi is back to second. Blind Spot three wide third. Jelly Beans are driven fourth. They run to the top of the stretch. These top two still kicking on toward the inside. It's Vivi from between horses. Stephanie's Charm three wide in Blind Spot. Running home is Marcel off the turn and the stretch drive. The leader is still Vivi trying to straighten up. Stephanie's Charm right alongside down the center. Blind Spot with every opportunity. Final eighth of a mile. Blind Spot tries to reach him. Here she comes. Blind Spot surging forward. And Blind Spot gains the upper hand to win the R Deer Peggy. Stephanie's Charm second. Vivia was third. Extra Indy finished fourth. 143 and one. Strategic speed. Some speed at two, but can carry it on through their later careers. Improbable. Full of run. Improbable. Now a grade one winner. It is a complete runaway. An authoritative run. It's improbable to win the Whitney. Distractor well into stride, but Octane's faster, and Living Water is up to challenge him. Away in fourth is out of the inside, and Sensei Lawrence, then no more business and too much action. The trailer is, hey, Porter. The speed is on early as Living Water and Octane go quickly. The distractor well situated on the flank of the leaders, and he's now turning up the pressure to challenge for control. Sensei Lawrence is fourth. No more business is fifth with too much action, and far back to Hey Porter. The quarter time was 22-1 and one as they swing around the four turn. The distractor leads narrowly. Right back at him is Living Water in second. Octane was with the leaders at the start, backed off, and is now Austin re-rally. He's in the clear three wide. Three and a half lengths to Sensei Lawrence, who's been watching the action unfold while five lengths off the lead. Well clear of the others, led by no more business, and they're at the top of the stretch. The distractor has the lead. Octane's going to make him earn it. Down at the inside, Living Water, Sensei Lawrence with an upset possibility. Three sixteenths to go. The distractor's got a fight on his hands today. Octane continues to charge. Here he comes now. Octane with a kick, and he's up to put a neck in front. The distractor kicks right back at him. Octane and the distractor. The distractor. Octane. It's Octane. Octane beats the distractor narrowly in 109 and 3. Away. 
Florida Star was slow to start, two or three lengths last. Zonal is away quickly to take the advantage from Cabersul, who comes away in second. Wide on the course, Rockland Express, Tico G is with him. Moving up down toward the inside, that's Show Him the Lights, then back to Heart Boy. On his outside is Pure Heart. Wide on the course is Cozy Boy, and then it's a gap of three and a half to Florida Star, who's last of all as they complete an opening quarter. Zonal and Kevin Krigger on top while out of hold. They lead by two. Cabersul is second. From the inside, show them the lights. Now races in third, outside fourth, and Rockland Express. Down at the inside, Hart Boy's on a tug, and Perez tries to find room for him. Outside in Tico G. A length and a half back to Cozy Boy, who's ahead of Pier of Hart, and the trailer remains Florida Star. They make their way to the opening half mile station. The opening quarter was just 24 and 4. And with the advantage, it's still zonal. He's clear. And he's clear by a pretty good margin here. On top by better than four lengths. Racing second now is Hart Boy toward the outside. Here's a move coming, and it's coming from Rockland Express, three wide. Cabersul is at the rail, two back to show him the lights. Stringing out after that, driven wide in Florida Star as they run to the top of the stretch. Zonal has to pick up his feet. His lead is gone. Three wide, Rockland Express, two path, Hart Boy. These three across the course. And now running home from the back is Cozy Boy. He's underway. Down at the inside, show him the lights, and they're at the top of the stretch. Krigger tries to find something extra on Zonal. He still has the lead, and he does have a bit more in the tank. He has the lead by a length and a half again. Hart Boy clings to him second. Rockland Express on the outside third. Final 16th of a mile. Zonal trying to get home. Rockland Express takes a shot at him late. Here's Rockland Express surging forward. Zonal, Rockland Express, photo finish. Very close on the wire. It's on the bob. Third is Hart Boy. Then it's Cozy Boy and Florida Star on 44 and 3. And that's a wrap on the 11 race Saturday card. We'll close down the weekend Sunday, 1225 post, nine races on tap.